TrueViz VG3640. Um, this is the brand new machine that's out by Roland, and this is a huge upgrade from our small VN20 20 inch printer that we've had for about six years now, which has been an amazing machine. But we decided we wanted to upgrade and we wanted the latest and greatest. And this is an amazing machine. So it has a lot of new features. We purchased the um, take up reel. So if you're printing out something long, you can just wrap it around here. It'll roll it up as it's printing. So you don't have any um, issues with it falling on the floor. If you're gonna print something while you leave for the end of the day, it's a great feature to have. Also, um, all the clamps, as it is printing or cutting, it will lift up these clamps so that it doesn't land on your image, especially if your ink is still wet. That way it doesn't smear it or you have any issues like that. But it's nice because it holds down the paper so if you're printing something, cutting something long, you get a nice straight um, image and there's no skewing. Also, it has these side clamps that you always you have to move towards your paper on both sides and you can adjust to any length of paper that you're using different sizes um, so you have pretty much an unlimited capability with materials that you can put in this machine also with the vg3 you have a lot of different color options um, we chose the most vibrant color package you could change it to suit your needs, whatever you use this machine for, for printing. Um, it also has a feature for white, which is great if you're printing a lot of clear items um, and you need that white ink. Also, what we love about this machine is the speed in which it prints and cuts images. Um, with our VN20, we love it, but we could print one item and it would take 20 minutes. On this machine, it literally takes five minutes to print and cut the same image on this machine. And we're gonna show you that comparison, not the complete time on the other machine, but we'll, we'll splice it in and, and show you. So I started printing on both machines at the same time. And we'll see, it still had to rip the images, but we'll see how, and the for the, the, the VG3, we actually have twice as many um, items. So another feature that it has is it has two separate dryers or heaters. It has a heater and a dryer. The heater is on the top under the paper there. You put your hand in and you'll feel it's warm and it'll show you the temperatures and then also has a dryer here on the front. What's awesome about the machine is that it gives that countdown too. It'll tell you when the job will be over. Yeah. On the VN20, you actually have to go into the VersaWorks program to find out and click on the individual item to find out how long an estimate it would take to print. <clears throat> so you wouldn't know if you had several items for how long it would take to print.
the, the print head. If you were printing a small image, you could set the print head to just go in that in area where your image is printed, or you could do the whole length of the paper, or you can do the whole length of the dead deck. So you can customize that to suit your needs. When we got it, it was very expensive. Yeah, when we, we got it, and now it's, it's a very good price point. I think they're about five thousand dollars for the new machines. It's like this, they they just sit on your desktop. They're a perfect machine. Two thousand years later. It's just finished printing and cutting, and we're at about fifteen minutes. It took. Uh, that machine took, what would the timer say, five minutes? No, three minutes. Three minutes. So that, that machine took three minutes. This took 15. Um, that includes spooling up time and every, you know. And it doesn't have cutters, so we just use a blade press edge, so we're not cutting on our metal. And here is the comparison for the colors. <clears throat> This is definitely way more vibrant than this. It still looks great. Um, even the pink on here. And you can see there's definitely a difference with the two machines, but it's really not that bad. The only complaint I would have right now with the VN20 is I am getting overspray on my black. So I'm gonna have to look into that and see how to eliminate that issue. But you see on here with the PG3, there is no overspray, but there's definitely overspray on the black that you can see there. I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but you can see splattering or a little bit of speckling of black where it printed black. Mm. So we hope you like this video. We'll be posting more videos as we go along with the new VG3. And be sure to like and subscribe with the little notification bell so you know when we post a new video. And we'll see you on the next one. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it.
Hadi hadi. Hadi. Hadi.